because if we can just raise one more platform, I reckon the flame will contact the rope and we'll have a smashed egg, folks. Something to look forward to there. All right, now here's a test of endurance for you. Imagine this. Melbourne Marathon swimmer Chloe McArdle is attempting to swim a record 60 laps of Sydney's Bondi Beach this morning. That's a total of 48 kilometres. And weekend today's own fitness guru, Airly Walsh, caught up with Chloe this morning mid-swim. Thanks, Cam. Well, Chloe, on the way out here, you know, I was actually hoping to stay dry during this interview, but we got <laughs> absolutely drenched by a wave coming in. Thanks for that. I guess we're not as wet as you, though. No, no, I'm pretty wet at the moment. I've been out here for about five hours, but it's really beautiful in here. The water's really clear. I understand you're after chasing a world record in July, but you're actually on your way to achieving one today. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to swim 60 laps of one day beach. The current record is 50 laps held by three people, including the legendary marathon swimmer Des Renford. So I'm trying to swim another 10 laps break that record. It's a world record because it's a recognised swim, so it's really exciting. What keeps you motivated? Well, I, I try to get into a zone and get a really comfortable rhythm in, when I'm swimming and I don't really think about anything too complex, just about getting comfortable, thinking about my technique, thinking about my feeds. I feed every half hour. Yeah. So all those sorts of things. The water temperature here, it's 21 degrees, it's not too bad, but that's nothing compared to what you're going to face in July, is it? Yeah, it's probably even 22 degrees, it's really warm, and the channel's 15, so it's really cold. And that's it's probably one of the hardest things about the English Channel is how cold it is, because your body is fighting to keep yourself warm, and it's really hard to swim when you're your body's fighting all that cold water. How do you prepare for an event like that? Well, long swims like this one, I guess. <laughs> so this is a 12-hour swim, possibly. I might do it in 11 hours at this rate. And then also a lot of cold, cold water swimming, really cold water, like in Melbourne where I live. It's really cold water, so that's really good. Now, a lot of athletes would be trimming down before an event, but you're actually doing the opposite, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I bulk up, put on body weight to protect my in internal organs from the cold water, so I do put on about 15 kilograms per so swim. You're going to start in Dover, head to Calais, back to Dover, 45 k's each way. Uh, what are some of the rules? What can't you do? Well, you're not allowed to touch the boat, which is why I'm not touching you guys at the moment. <laughs> uh, you're not allowed to wear a wetsuit or fins. There's no shark cage. You're not allowed to touch another person. So it's pretty much just myself, my goggles and my speedos. Uh, well, Chloe, we wish you the best of luck. And I know you're allowed to have chocolate every few hours and being Easter and all, we've got you a Cadbury cream egg. So <laughs> awesome. as we're not allowed to touch you, I'm going to pan this over to you. Thanks. Where you're able to enjoy that. And Hopefully. happy Easter to all your viewers too. Thank oh, thanks, Chloe. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Bye. So Cam, it's a beautiful day down here at Bondi Beach with an inspiring woman, but uh, it's back to you in the studio. Aren't they lovely conditions, Ellie? But to have been out there already five hours, it's going to take Chloe about 12 hours, I think, to complete that swim, uh, swimming in the wake of the great Des Renford. And Chloe McArdle, as you can see, is a lovely Australian and she needs sponsorship for her adventures in the water. So um, certainly it's a great idea to make contact with us if you would like to sponsor Chloe on her three trips across the channel. We've got new sport and weather coming up next. Uh, thanks for joining us on Weekend Today on your Easter Sunday. How about an Easter Wombat just for company? I just feel it's important to know exactly what he went through. The amazing lives, loves and courageous stories of our nation's heroes in their footsteps coming to mind. At Flight Centre, holidays to Bali are on sale now. Like Cuda, four nights from $99. Or Legian, four nights from $189. And we'll beat any airfare quote or you fly free. Call now, 131-600. Hi, I'm Darren, owner-manager of Bank of Queensland Armidale Branch. Being an owner-manager means you can call me direct. We've just started our holiday in Thailand and somehow lost all our cards and cash. And it was a Saturday afternoon. 
I had Darren's number from BOQ in my phone and rang him. And because I'd set the account up correctly, I was able to race the money down to the wire transfer office and they had it within an hour. He was fantastic. Ask yourself, would your bank do this? We're the bank with owner managers. Personal service is our story. Roll into Plush for a great range of two-seater sofas at half price. The Urban two-seater, half price. The Encore two-seater, half price. The Magnum two-and-a-half-seater, half price. For five days only, be quick. Stocks are strictly limited. The unmistakable Roy Orbison. His greatest hits as you've never heard before on one monumental two-CD DVD set. Nine classic songs from the voice that defined cool. Every mum's a pretty woman, so get her Roy Orbison's Monument Singles Collection. You know what makes Australia the greatest little country in the world? The veranda. If you've got one, you've got mates, a place to burn meat and enjoy some neck oil. Party all weekend, even when it's raining. Marry off your daughter and have Christmas dinner outside like the early settlers. Every famous Aussie had a veranda. Ned Kelly, Jimmy Cook, Banjo Patterson, even Farlap had one. So why are you missing out? It's un-Australian not to have a veranda. Call and install a veranda for a free measure and quote. They can have it up in a day and you'll have 100 new mates in a week. Call them now and do your bit. Advance Australia with a veranda. Glade Sense and Spray. Smart. It has a motion sensor, which means it goes off only when it senses movement. To give a burst of fresh Glade fragrance, only when you need it. Mm. But it's not wasteful, because it won't go off again for another 20 minutes. Unless, of course, you press the boost button. Very smart. Motion activated Sense and Spray. Very smart. And yes, it's Glade. SC Johnson Family Company. Weekend Today's Weather, brought to you by Inner Health Plus. Have you had your Inner Health Plus today? Welcome back. Happy Easter to you both uh, and all of you at home. Up soon, our favourite cars on the big screen but right now. It is news time. Sylvia is back. Good morning, Sylvia. Good morning, Cam, and good morning to you at home.